How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Last week I did a video talking all about the latest update for Horizon 5. Now there's a few things included in that update that I actually missed out on so we're going to cover all that today along with some future information about what's coming next for Horizon 5 in the next couple of weeks, what their plans are and what we can expect. It's quite good. So if you do find this video interesting please do consider subscribing, we do news stuff all the time. Let's get into the first thing shall we? So just like every month we finally got the graphic which shows the main things in included in the update and there's a few things here that I didn't mention in my first video. Obviously we can see that we've got the new Horizon story and we've got the new thing called the Festival Playlist voiceover. The clue is in the name for what this does. This is kind of a voiceover thing where it will sort of voice over the Festival Playlist to give you a bit more explanation of what the theme is about and what the challenges are and stuff like that. We've got information about the new cars, we've got new event lab props, we already know about all this. The new emote so called So Cute. We've got 10 new clothing items. A new golden trophy collectible, that's a new collectible that wasn't mentioned, and 12 new accolades. So there's a few little new miscellaneous things that I didn't mention in my first video um, that we can now see on this graphic. And as you can see on the right, we've got some of the major game fixes. We will go through all of the fixes and changes in a bit. Something else they mentioned in the live stream is they are no longer, from now on, they are no longer going to refer to the series by the number. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is actually series 11 or update 11 they're no longer going to number them. So the next update isn't going to be series 12, it's going to be whatever the theme name is. Just like this update, as you can see, their live streams are usually series 7 updates, series 8, series 9. But this one was just the title, Rami's Racing History, they didn't actually say it was series 11. So they're no, going to, they're no longer going to refer to these updates by the numbers, rather so as the name or the theme. So what else we've got? They have given us an update on the leaderboards. We all know the leaderboards in Horizon 5 are just full of cheaters and just hacked times, and it's not really realistic to go and try and beat the world records at every speed zone, drift zone, just everything. The leaderboards are just messed up. Well, in the live stream, they actually provided an update on them fixing the leaderboard times. This is what they said. So we, want, yeah, we wanted to give you an update on our long-term plans um, for keeping Horizon 5's leaderboards uh, an honest and accurate measure of legitimate times uh, within the game. Uh, we know the vast majority of leaderboard times are legitimate, um, so we, we don't want to just scorch the earth and delete all of those. Um, but yeah, we, we are going to be starting with targeted deletion, uh, attempting to filter out legitimate times uh, versus illegitimate times and scores, um, especially where there was perhaps exploits within the game or there were bugs that were causing people to get um, yeah, dodgy times. Um, that process is going to roll out in multiple phases over time to address the multiple types of suspicious times and scores that result from different types of exploits. We're working on the final details uh, before proceeding with that first step of the process. So It's good to see that they are finally cracking down on these leaderboard times. We know that they've been mentioning it before, but it seems like they're finally almost ready to pull the trigger and wipe out some of these hacked times in stages. It looks like they've got different stages they're going to go through, different types of cheaters that they're going to eventually wipe down but it's good to see that very shortly they will start to pull the trigger. We have been given information about upcoming body kits for Horizon 5 as well. Customization is a huge thing in games like this and obviously body kits are some of the coolest things you can get. Well, this was said on the live stream about what's upcoming very soon in terms of body kits. So on Horizon 4, one of the kind of most requested things that I got was new body kits, I think. I every think you've got it on the stream. stream. Yeah, I think yeah, we would every, ask you on the stream yeah. as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh, like every stream I got asked that. That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, so for Forza Horizon 5, we are going to be introducing new car customization and specifically body kits uh, through live. So um, next series is the first one where we're doing that uh, oh. and expect more in the future as well. A bit, how many have we got coming, Chris? It's two next month. Two body kits. You but they're, they are really good ones. They're, they're really, really good like body kits. Yep. You heard it here first. Sounds quite cool. Now we're not exactly sure what body kits these are going to be. We can make our predictions. Only thing they told us that they, is that they are two good ones 
and uh, it's obviously going to be the first of many. We're not just going to get two new body kits. There might be some of the update after that. So we may start to get regular body kits added to the game from now on. A few people over on GT Pipes have their own opinions on what these body kits could be. Are we going to see Liberty Walk vehicles added? Is Rocket Bunny returning? I think that one's a bit less likely. Liberty Walk is one of my best guesses. A few screenshots on screen of what people on GT Planet think and some of the specific missing Liberty Walk vehicles that may be the ones that get added. There's a lot that it could be. We're not really going to spend much time guessing because we'll probably be wrong. I want to know in the comment section below if you guys could have any body kit in the entire world that exists added to the game, what body kit would it be? I'm curious. If it was me, I would want the Cream Development GTR body kit. Now a quick conversation about leaked cars. Now after every update, the files obviously change and it's more often than not that within these files after every update, there are new leaked cars spotted that are soon to be added to the game just because they are obviously updating the car files whenever they're adding stuff. Now, recently, these new updates haven't had any signs of any new cars. Now, this doesn't mean we're not getting new cars from now on, but what it does mean is they seem to be doing a lot more, they seem to be being a lot more careful when it comes to the game files within every update. It's probably going to be less likely that from now on, we will find leaked stuff within the car files. They just seem to be doing a pretty damn good job lately of hiding what they're doing next which to be honest is a good thing we like it to be a surprise rather than just finding stuff within the files so now in terms of the full fixes list for the current update that just went past there's a few things worth mentioning we have all of the general fixes this is literally every general fix which was done within the changelog of the series 11 update which released just yesterday we have all of the event lab fixes as well there's a few of them hot wheels fixes this is one of the first major updates since the expansion release so naturally there's going to be quite a few of them and then cars as well a few cars have had issues and fixes needed changing and this is everything that they changed so naturally if there's any big issue you're having in horizon 5 and it's not included in this list make sure to get yourself over to the forza support website and make sure that they are aware of your issue because there are sections where you can check all of the known issues. Just make sure that your issues are on that list. Bit of a quick video today, guys, but that is everything that I have to say. I hope you guys are a bit more up to date now of what to expect in the next update and what's been included in the update that has just been released. Make sure, oh, I'm stuttering now. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later. Wheeler Dealer Wednesday, starting 24th of August, every Wednesday for next series. I've been Tommy Barkins. Good night and God bless.